Welcome to the Roundhouse Roundup, Episode 5. Uh, I'm recording this a little late in the night, uh, for reasons I will be talking about shortly. But first, some news. Uh, Tekken 6 has announced a couple things. The Cardboard Tube Samurai from Penny Arcade will be an unlockable skin for Yoshimitsu if you pre-order at GameStop. So pre-order at GameStop! Yay! You'll also get some uh, war flags, which are the things that go in the back, and they have kanji on them, and they look cool. I'm really excited about that. Also, the limited edition for Tekken 6 has been announced. You get the game, an art book, and a joystick from Hori for the price of $149.99. Bundle's going to be available for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and the big deal is the joystick is wireless. So if this is something you're interested in, maybe you don't have a joystick yet, didn't pick up one of the Capcom fight sticks, Hori makes a pretty darn good joystick, so definitely consider picking this up if you're going to get Tekken 6. In other news, uh, Blaze Blue is coming out next week. If you haven't pre-ordered that, make sure to pre-order it at GameStop.com. Only online when you pre-order will you get a 32-page art book. And remember, every first edition of the game is a collector's edition at $59.99. PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 uh, release date is June 30th. Now, it's about 12.10 uh, when I'm recording this. And it's going to be a little bit later by the time this video props up on YouTube and Games and Me. But by the time this video's up, a little game is going to be out on the Xbox Live Arcade, and that's Garo Mark of the Wolves. This one kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, it was announced, and then nothing happened. You didn't hear about it a while, and then all of a sudden, here it is. It's uh, 800 Microsoft points, or $10. Should you buy it? Yes! Yes, you should! Um, the game's going to have some pretty nice online play. But it's a really solid title that doesn't feel like King of Fighters or any other title that SNK really put out before. For its time, the graphics were amazing and gave Third Strike a run for its money. Although, um, definitely the game did not have the player base it deserved because it came late in the Neo Geo's lifespan, therefore it came late in the arcade's lifespan, and by the time it came out on Dreamcast, it came out late in the Dreamcast's lifespan. So, maybe you haven't picked this up. For ten bucks, you have no excuse. A little background on the game. Uh, it takes place uh, in the Fatal Fury universe uh, several years in the future. Uh, Geese Howard is dead, and Terry Bogard is raising his son, Rock Howard, as his own. Or at least the best he can. If you're a fan of King of Fighters, some of the other characters in the game will be instantly recognizable to you. You've got uh, Kim's sons, uh, Kim dong Kwan and Kim Jae-hoon. You've got bi You've got Gato. You've got Tizak. A um, few other characters. Definitely worth looking at. Definitely worth picking up. Be sure to get this game. Next week, a full review of Blaze Blue. Should you pick up this game? Is it worth your time and money? With King of Fighters on the horizon, is this a worthwhile investment? All these questions will be answered in the next episode of the Roundhouse Roundup. And from our news, reviews, views, previews, and all the other ewes in the pugilistic world of punching, stay tuned to the Roundhouse Roundup. And by the way, I would love to hear from some of you if you've got any questions about fighting games you'd like to answer, such as, was Rise of the Robots a good game? No. Email me at Ted at gamesand.me. That's Ted at gamesand.me. And if you're not sure how to spell that, look right here. Actually, as I'm recording this, I can't see where I'm pointing, but thanks to the magic of editing, there's going to be an email address here. And you can type it into things, and you can talk to me. Until next week, folks.